Hello, my name is Evan Kohlenbrander. I am a fourth year aerospace engineering major and I'm the project manager for Design Build Fly at UCLA. And I'm Sid Singh. I'm also a fourth year aero major and I'm the chief engineer for DBF. So DBF, or Design Build Fly, is a student engineering organization here on campus and we primarily focus on designing, manufacturing, and flight testing RC aircraft. So to do this, we compete in the yearly AIAA Design Build Fly competition, where we ranked 14th out of 107 international universities this year, which is our best ranking to date, and we're also the number one ranked team in California. Our team is split into six different technical subteams. That includes manufacturing, aerodynamics, propulsion electronics, CAD design, uh, structures, and research and development. Uh, all these teams work together to build the final aircraft. So I'm Libby Taylor. I'm a third year mechanical engineering major. I'm currently the lead of a manufacturing subteam. Um, so I primarily spend my time doing manufacturing, but I do have, you know, I'm somewhat engaged in all of the subteams, which is pretty common for most of our members. And so all of them have their own kind of part that they play in creating our final aircraft that we work on every year. So kind of the, the timeline would be that R&D does kind of theoretical research and development projects um, on new methods, aerodynamic calculations, that kind of stuff for ways to kind of get more creative with the aircraft design process. Then the aerodynamics sub-team will do all the equations, calculations for sizing the plane, making sure that it can carry whatever payload we need, it fits within any size limits or weight constraints. Then it's passed off to structures and CAD. So structures will analyze um, kind of the materials that we need to use to make sure that the plane doesn't fall apart in flight because uh, it, it sustains some you know heavy loads, especially during turns and takeoff and stuff. Meanwhile, CAD will use SolidWorks, which is a program used um, in industry to create a 3D model of the plane, which we use as a guideline in the manufacturing team to create the actual plane. Um, so this is a replica of pretty much exactly what we have in our SolidWorks. Um, and then the last step is the propulsion subteam will install the motors, the electronics, the servos to make sure that the plane can actually move and be controlled by our pilot during flight. So my name is Terry Wang. I am a second year mathematics major. Um, I am the aerodynamics lead for this team. Uh, my main responsibilities as aerodynamics lead really just include organizing the team, uh, the subteam that I'm part of, and um, this subteam that I'm part of. We mainly we, we design the plane, we optimize it for uh, the best mission performance possible, and then we're also responsible for um, like post flight data analysis, uh, as well as getting like, projected mission times, estimated performance values for uh, our pilot to try and hit. Hi everyone, my name is Nikhil Seishadri. I'm a fourth year aerospace engineering major at UCLA and I am the pilot and flight test lead for our DBF team. Yeah, so we work very closely with our flight sciences subteams like aerodynamics, propulsion, and structures to ensure that the predictions that they come up with for our aircraft's performance are validated with real world experiments. So this involves um, determining what physical parameters we need to measure and the appropriate sensors that will record them devising test procedures to be executed either on an aircraft prototype or another apparatus like a wind tunnel, and then doing the final data analysis that will give us the results we need to iterate on our aircraft's design. So I'm Danny Schimatelli. I'm a second year mechanical engineering major and the research and development lead here at DBF. So the research and development team is really special because we're just a really highly interdisciplinary sub team that is dedicated to you know, innovating and implementing various mechanisms to improve the performance of our aircraft at the competition. There are a variety of examples here, but for last year's plane, uh, this is our last year's plane, um, one of the competition requirements was that uh, the, the aircraft had to fit into a parking spot that was only two and a half feet wide. Right? But as you can see, the plane has a wingspan of five feet. So R&D was tasked with creating a folding wing mechanism. So the wings will fold up like so, allowing us to fit in. So that's just one example of a variety of projects we run throughout the year. Hi, my name is Daniel Oviedo. I am a fourth year aerospace engineering major. I am the structure subteam lead here at Design Build Fly at UCLA. My subteam is in charge of the structural integrity of the aircraft. During competition, our aircraft experiences a lot of aerodynamic forces like lift and drag, and we also go through hard landings. So our subteam is in charge of ensuring that the aircraft stays together structurally while making it as light as possible. And to do this, we do a variety of theoretical, computational, and live testing to make sure that 
all the parts are working together and we have the most optimized aircraft possible. We are open to anybody. We have new member training programs to get everybody up to speed regardless of your previous experience. Uh, if you want to join, make sure to hit up at DVF underscore UCLA, all lowercase. Click on that link tree in the bio. Make sure to fill out that interest form. You'll be added to our Discord, which is our primary means of communication, and we'll get you set up to join anytime during the year. We can't wait to see you guys joining us here at Design Build Fly next year in the fall.